Well, good afternoon, folks. Yeah, just me, no one special. Well, here's another little uh, project that's finally getting done to my truck. Here, I'll show you one sec. As you can see, this is a seat to my truck. It is this seat is from about a, I guess, 1978 F F250 extended cab. That's why it's got the split bench. Well, I'm finally getting it recovered. Like it's not really that bad. Like it's nice. It's it's nice and firm. That side over there is gone. So it's all going to get redone. It goes into the upholsters tomorrow, and I should have it back. Oh, I don't know, five to seven days, depending. And uh, this that I sit on will be red. And, uh, I don't know, a good wearing material I've seen. This up here and that center piece will be in a, in a white that matches the same as what my uh, door is over there and the rest of my white in here. And uh, instead of my seating material coming to the end he's going to put a strip of the white up here about oh I don't know probably about three or four inches in so I run like all the way down here and the only other thing I've asked him to do is to take the driver's side and, uh, and make it a bit firmer one second here so I climb in because as you can see, it's it's gone down quite a bit here. It's 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 really soft. So I want the driver's seat here really firm. And because you know it gets the most wear and tear. And as you can see, this is pretty much all worn. But yeah, and it's starting to starting to crack right here. So yes, yeah, so the gentleman I'm getting to do it. Actually, it's on Vancouver Island, which is about an hour and a half by ferry. And then another 20 minutes driving to the guy's place, to his shop, and, uh, and then I'll drop it off, then go around town there for a little while with a friend of mine who's dropping, going with me, and then we'll catch the ferry back. But besides that, not really a whole hell of a lot. Uh, I don't know if I showed you, but this is this here is one of the uh, gauge pods I made don't mind this extension piece here that's just on there normally it would just come right to uh, this piece right here to the end there it's made out of uh, 3 16 clear uh, plexiglass uh, the only way to course the only way to bend plexiglass is with heat so yeah so I'm getting pretty good at that but I've also tried to get into uh, polycarbonate, which is, is, is uh, way stronger. It's, what, 50 times stronger or 70 times stronger than plexiglass and 100 times stronger than real glass. So yeah, it's kind of cool because as you can see, I redid this one in, the, in it. And at night, you can't, you can't see the plastic trim around the edge. So it kind of looks like the gauge is just hanging there midair. That's kind of the effect that I want. But yeah, um, not a whole else lot to report. Um, later on, maybe in the spring or summer, I'm going really to have to redo that there, that gator guard there. Because as you can see, right, right here, excuse my big finger, there was some seam sealer. And one day I was sitting in my truck and I happened to look down over here and I saw a crack going through the, the gator guard. And apparently it didn't bond where the, where the um, seam shooter was. So what I'm going to do, I believe, is make sure it's good and dry. And I've already sanded it down with 40 grit. I'll sand a bit more around it and everything like that and then I'll reshoot it. But I'll mask, I'll mask everything off in here everything all off and everything in it and reshoot the floor just the floor 
not the tranny hump or anything like that but both sides the seat will be out so well I'll take it out again if I have to and then reshoot it but other than that it's basically this everything's all the same but a little Halloween spider excuse me I'm tired but uh, yeah it's still in pretty good shape it's got a couple of little paint nicks and stuff like that but other than that yeah I can take that liner out too for a while hopefully the box underneath is good but uh, yeah she's still my old beast so uh, till then I will let you go and like I said I hope everybody's out there good hope your family's good all this COVID, you know what stuff going on. And yeah, so uh, forget all about that. Enjoy your builds, enjoy your family. Just have fun. Because like I guess I always say, you never know. Okay? Well, everybody, like I said, I hope all your projects are well, your family's well, and kids are happy. So I guess about all we can ask for. And you got food in your stomach and a roof over your head. Okay? Till later all. Uh, peace out, build out, and uh, build on, I should say, and God bless you all. Bye.